That was, <laughs> that was a good one. It was elegant. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome. It's 8-Hit Gaming. It's a show. It's here in Seattle. It's about art. It's about weed. And it's about video games. And oh my gosh, we got like a Seattle legend here <laughs> on this week's episode. It's really not a hard of to accomplish. Hit Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, it's Solomon Giorgio. <laughs> you may recognize Solomon from Flophouse, mm -hmm. um, from The Meltdown with Jonah and Kumail. Yes. Um, uh, every, what's the Adam Ruins Everything I wrote for that show yes it, it was on a TV episode. writer <laughs> Adam Ruins Everything and Spongebob yes I wrote an episode Spongebob. Spongebob I'm so excited to have you um, this is a joint I have seen it before do you feel comfortable smoking these I could probably take like two hits and then I've completed it <laughs> <laughs> um, I asked you before we started shooting do you prefer indica or sativa and you made it very clear that it doesn't make any damn difference to you yeah they both make me exactly the same kind of high <laughs> Well, um, <coughs> let me know if it goes out because I'm really bad at rolling. <coughs> it's okay. A lot, a lot. It worked, <coughs> baby. <laughs> okay. I'm a child. <laughs> when did you decide to make the move to LA? What was like the what was the decision making process there? Uh, a friend of mine was moving out. Uh, cool. Who was actually uh, Lindy West. Lindy, alleged here as well. Hopefully, she'll be on the show. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're watching. <laughs> yeah, she was. We we both sort of agreed to move out, and uh, she left and came back. Here and she I, did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she left you there, <laughs> she, and I stayed. <laughs> Do you think that maybe her moving to LA was a plan to get away from you, and you spoiled it by moving with her, yeah, and that's why she moved easy, back? That might have been the case. She'd be like, you know what? <laughs> Gotta get out of this town. Get Solomon to like it here, and move back. <laughs> He'll never leave. <laughs> the game we are playing today is a very special place in all of our hearts. Mm -hmm. It's called Mario Party Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't played this one. The last one I played was like seven. Ooh, remember the good old days of the Wii Pointer? I oh, kind of miss it. I've been, like, it's hard to do it. I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do? It's hard, very difficult to do this. Uh, sorry, I am very stoned now. No, that's good. That's it perfect. It takes very little. Oh, okay, so I'm Rosalina. On I think you gotta drag it. You guys, I'm figuring this out very <laughs> slow. <laughs> You're gonna do great at these games, <laughs> I can tell. I'm gonna go so quick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't know yet. But do you want to be that will probably goo? What does that even mean? I don't know. These are like messages from different people. Oh. They have a feature on this console called Miiverse. And oh. people are able to do drawings. Like, look at that great drawing of a, a oh, sad toad. Yeah. And, and um, senpai. Senpai. Senpai, what does that mean? Um, it means, uh, like, assistant teacher. Ah. Oh. I'm serious. <laughs> Did you think I was making that up? Uh, I didn't know there was a word for TA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get over to that fortress. Okay. So we all work together. No, I think we're trying to kill each other. Oh, perfect. I was but let's try that. and beat the robots. <laughs> like, it's obviously humans versus robots unofficially. Do I throw it? Do <clears> I... <throat> I figured it was it's maybe a motion again, right? control thing. <laughs> no, it's just A. Hey, I got some stars, though. This is working out. Did you used to play with like friends or siblings? Like what was your Mario um, party experience? It was my friend Tracy had it. We played at her house uh, after getting drunk at our place. <laughs> okay, clarification. <laughs> our place the bar or your place the house? Our place the bar. We okay, get cool. very drunk there. <laughs> Shout out to our place. Would you ever do like drinking game versions of it? Because I well, would we already drunk by the time we got there because we us are very early twenties and the only thing we drank were long out of iced tea. <laughs> like monsters. We got very wasted, then we'd order pizza and play Mario Party. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Bogey or bogey? Oh, because it's golf. Mm. I think it's bogey. Wait, oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> Just like a golf club. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. No, I hit the bob bomb! Oh, so did I. That okay, okay. <laughs> I'm last every time. This weed's really working on you. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm very quick. Okay, I get this. This is I'm doable. This, yeah. this is a... Ah, no! <laughs> 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 oh, I got it. This All is right. just like real golf. I feel like I could, I could hit the links now. Is that what you say? Is it when you play real golf? Yeah, the link hitters. Why is it called the Lynx? I have no idea what I mean. Is it golf named after never a cat? Any sense to me. It's like, I feel like there should be a Zelda golf game because then it could be like, Link hits the Lynx. Huh? I'm never- Would you play it? Oh jeez. Based on the name, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm never gonna have you in my focus group it's, because it's you're just gonna knock down all <laughs> <your> ideas. <laughs> oh, if you're gonna throw this terrible oh. wordplay around. 
Do I get the win? I don't know. I don't know what happens. This game is a real enigma to both of yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's still more game board for us to endure. Okay, it's just a mini boss. Just a okay. mini boss. Bowser's kids are weird though. Do you think they're all from the same mom? Well, I'd, who is their mom if he's just trying to steal Peach as like a sex life thing? Yeah, it's, it's very confusing. Like, is there a Mrs. Koopa in his life and we just don't see her because she's or, subjugated and the, and the oppressive rule? Or do Bowser's have, is, or those, or is he the one that has babies? Um, were there any other uh, Nintendo games you got really into in that generation? Uh, Monkey Ball. Monkey Ball was sick. What happened to the Monkey Ball games? I would love there those, because they had so many good many games. You could play like every sport in them. Oh. I loved it. Who was your uh, monkey that you played as? Did you like I I? <laughs> is that the girl? I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember one was named I I. <laughs> uh, I can't remember their names, but I know definitely one of them was a girl. Do you usually play as the female characters when you yeah. get a chance? But you are Mario in this Every game. Um, this one yes, but usually most games. Do you just not feel like a princess? Cause um, I... No, it was mostly that uh, I couldn't figure out the controller, so oh. I just <laughs> grabbed the uh, <laughs> easiest one. <laughs> okay. Hey, you delivered the final blow! That's what I did. Whoa, look at that! Put me up uh, still last place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Less far behind. <laughs> Two points behind. Yeah. I hope you get some coins for it. Okay, we gotta go this way again. Okay. All these visual indicators. I feel like I'm on an airplane. Oh, we got Oh, and Peach. No, but Peach is unlucky, so that's good for us. What's that? Oh, I didn't even know that. All right. So I feel how, like... you, how did the person get unlucky? I don't know. It seemed like you got attacked by a piranha plant, and you never want that, right? Oh. Do you feel like um, there's hazard pay for landscapers in the Mushroom Kingdom because they're always having to fight like giant, <laughs> giant man-eating plants? I don't know about the. I don't know how the unions work in Mario. <laughs> I bet they have a strong union because they hold these plumbers in such yeah, ISD. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Donkey Kong is he's making a, a fool out of us. No, he's just a professional. He's a, this is all he does. This is his whole life. <laughs> I get all these five stars. Uh, like, and five feels more. good. You're cutting head right now. <gasps> what does that mean? <laughs> I have, I think, a pretty good deal with a, another kid. Oh, he's stealing stuff from us. Battle for 10. Okay, we all have to compete now. Okay. Would you climb a mountain if you were high? No. I don't what? understand any of those activities while they're high. <laughs> <laughs> would you climb a mountain period? Cause mm. I would not. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna do it sober. Oh no! Oh yeah, we see. <laughs> we just I both knew immediately. It. I knew it. It was. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't do much better, but I feel like, <laughs> come on. I think that was the furthest. We just made it to the first one. <laughs> If we would have just survived for one of those, we probably would have won. Ow. Ouchie. That's very rude. <laughs> oh, sorry. we gotta go. You gotta hit. Hey, that's okay. what's up. I have to agree to whatever <laughs> this guy's politics are. You, yeah, you have to submit to his um, horrible game. This is sort of like, um, you ever see the movie Saw? Yeah. This is essentially the same situation. <laughs> 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 okay, I didn't even look at the instructions for this one. I think we gotta avoid the fishies. <laughs> I th yeah, we have to jump. Wait, I can't keep track of myself because there's another another girl with long hair. <laughs> <laughs> Which one am I? <laughs> Did you have any gaming consoles when you were young? Uh, we had a Super Nintendo. Ooh, what was, was the what was the game that you loved? We played Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the game. Oh, cool! I would I would play that with you, but I'm very bad at fighting games, so you'd probably win that one. Yeah, I'm actually very good at fighting games. Well, are you only into Street Fighter or? Um, are there no, I I love Street Fighter forever. Um, but I've uh, played Soul Calibur and Soul Blade. What was your favorite iteration of that? Because they always um, had like fun guest characters. They didn't have fun guest characters, especially when they had the uh, when the PlayStation had um, yoga and yoga. Yoda. 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 <laughs> there was like Yoda <laughs> mini game where you could make your fighter really flexible. <laughs> I really don't know what any of this means or if we're winning. It's because I'm in last place. From here on, the player in last place can choose the mini game. It's only fair. <laughs> Whoa, Bowser is pissed. Because now you have freedom of choice. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't care for that one that happens to women. <laughs> Do you feel that little vibrate? Yes. Ooh. I leave it on, but I never said the point of it. It's to tell you, hey, look over here. 
It's fun because like in the Wii generation, they had a lot of games where like your character had a cell phone and then you would feel it vibrate in your hand and you're like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I find it entertaining, it's like, ah, it's like if my controller vibrates when I get shot in a game. Like, that's not what a gunshot would be like. Yeah. <laughs> it's not accurate enough. <laughs> You're only into force feedback if it makes you bleed and gives you. Well, look, poisons. if it's like if I'm if I trip over a rock and it vibrates, that's fine. But if I, I sh if I get shot, vibrating doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> the controller should explode in your hand. Exactly. <laughs> Do you ever feel in games like I never want to use my items? You know. Do yeah. I always want to like. Them. For what? I don't know. <laughs> like I, at the end of every RPG, I have like a thousand potions. I sell them so quick. Really? I the thought that I would like need one and have to pay money for it just makes me so stressed that I just keep them all. <laughs> but I never use them. I don't. Uh oh. No, I clear things up very quickly. Okay, so it's gonna be me versus you and all the robots. That's perfect. Though. Okay. Do you want to go to this island or into the scary Let's go castle? to watermelon whaling. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to involve watermelons and whales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an adventure, I guess. I'm enjoying this already. <laughs> it's a void you. Yeah. I got a little hammer. I'm coming for you first of all. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see it. <laughs> got her. So wait, do I just have to get all of you once? That seems really doable. Yeah, I'm going to win. Ah, that was so easy. It's not even your fault. Like the <laughs> the computers were a real pushover on that one. Yeah, they they didn't. I just was running in a little tiny circle in a quarter. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it worked for a minute. So I got to pick your brain about writing for SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. How does that come up? And <laughs> did you immediately have a plan? Because your episode is kind of a West Side Story parody. Um, was that's... this a dream episode that you wanted to do <laughs> all your days? No, we talked. It was pitched in the room. Um, I don't know if I brought it up. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely uh, the sharks as a gang was what was on there. And it, we all just beat it out from there. It's a very cute episode if you haven't seen it. Did you grow up watching SpongeBob? Because um, I didn't really watch it when I was younger, but I definitely watched your episode and it seemed to fit right in with the universe. Yeah, I well, I did watch it, uh, especially since my niece watched it. <clears throat> Do they have like a show Bible? <laughs> <laughs> like, this well, they're is where SpongeBob's house is. Yeah. Well, they they're really chill. It was like they were working on the show for 17 years, and they this is the first time they had a writers' room. So they Whoa, were like, interesting. When I got in with a couple other writers, they were like, we just want to, to have fresh ideas <laughs> from people, and it was pretty fantastic. I think we just throw bombs on this one. Yeah. Oh, they just, oh, okay, so when he's inhaling, don't throw him because he spits them back at you. Oh, now we blew him up. Maybe. I think he's coming back at us for more. This isn't even his final form, Saul. Hey, I think I got the last one on that one. Yeah. I did good on that one. No, oh, no, you got one. the last one again. I got the last one. Thank you. <laughs> you sneak in there, you get the last one every single time. They call you Saul the Finisher. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in at the end. Every time. I don't mind losing. I also don't mind losing. Oh, we're already at, at the awards ceremony. Minus stars to you! Yay, thank you so for much! For losing the most mini stars! I'm so proud of you, Saul. Uh, they're all being very good. Aww. <laughs> it better. If it goes to Donkey Kong, we live in a dark world. <laughs> <laughs> we do live in a dark world. We do. It's very possible. Oh, yay! He's yay. gone! A woman will win, at least. Okay. Oh wow! All right, that is. <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't go to Donkey Kong. I think we can all agree that this is an okay situation. <laughs> Princess Peach won. Princess Peach winning is like if Hillary Clinton would have gotten the election. It's mm -hmm. like, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> You're not gonna give me the princess that I want. Right. <laughs> Rosalita is like Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> all right, let's look at the graph. Graphs are fun. That's Ooh. very... They didn't have to do that. That's a feature that they... Look at this. Look at... Yeah, you know how, like, <laughs> eight-year-olds love graphs? <laughs> you know, guys, I really know that games uh, lack of graphs. <laughs> oh. That's like a little photo album yes. commemorating our trip. That is... Just the, just the two. so sweet, so you know... What... <laughs> These are my keepsakes. <laughs> <laughs> what souvenir would you bring back from the Mushroom Kingdom? Oh, to, like, keep on your mantle? Oh, that's definitely the bombs are pretty. You don't think it would explode? <laughs> if I shellac it, it might not. <laughs> I don't know what kind of stasis I'm bringing the souvenir back to me. <laughs> hey, Solomon. <clears throat> yes. It's that special time of the show. What's the time? 
It's time for the quick type of it. Quick type of it. Quick type of it. Question one in Banjo Kazooie. What animal is Banjo? A. A bear. B. A bird. C. A squirrel. C. A squirrel. No, I'm sorry. It's a bear. Oh shit! Boo. It was. I it was a bear. You were thinking of Conker. Yeah. Question two. How many buttons were on the original Guitar Hero controller? A. Four. B. Five. C. Six. Four. I'm sorry. It was B. Five. Really? Yes. Ah. It was a very complicated instrument. Question three. What game uses bells as a currency? A, Animal Crossing, B, Harvest Moon, C, Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing? That's correct, yay! Dang. I actually never played that game. It's very fun. You can move into my village anytime. (laughs) Question four, Skyrim is which numbered sequel in the Elder Scrolls franchise? A, three, B, four, C, five. Five? That is correct, yay! Question five. What was the subtitle of 2001's Wave Race sequel for the Nintendo GameCube? A. Wake Riders. B. Blue Storm. C. Tokyo Drift. Blue Storm? That is correct. Oh, awesome. Oh, it's like a total blue guess. storm. It's the ocean. Question <laughs> six. Which of these games does not have a day-night cycle? A. Red, Dem- <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. B. Batman Arkham City. C. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Does B? not have a day night cycle. And Batman is correct. Yeah. Awesome. Because he's the night, Dark night. night guy. Nighttime. Yeah. He yeah. likes night. Makes sense. Um, question seven. Which of these cities <laughs> is in Pokemon Blue? A. Lumio City. C. <laughs> B. Kony Kony City. C. Celadon City. C. That is correct. Awesome. Oh, jeez. Very good. And question eight. Your final question. Which of these RPGs was produced in part by Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli? A. Blue Dragon. B. Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni. C. Persona 5. <laughs> I'm not even going to deduct the point because you did such a good job. <laughs> it was Nino Kuni? Yeah, it was. Okay. You interrupted me. <laughs> well, but I you knew still it won. immediately. That one I knew. I know. I know. And I was trying to play coy about it. You would know it immediately, but you just have to make everything <laughs> Spelled out, <laughs> ruined the mystery of the show. Quick time event. They don't know that I've been to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, um, thank you so much for doing the show. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us in I'm Seattle. Be here. I love uh, the city. We're always happy to have you back in our in our fair city. Anything you want to plug before before we say bye to the nice people? Um, you got stuff coming out. Just yeah, I have the Comedy Central half hour, which I think is. That sounds like a good thing. That's a, watch, that be, for real. That's a rad thing. Please <laughs> watch Comedy Central presents this year, particularly Solomon's wonderful yeah. episodes. They have. They Aren't have, you doing an album recording for Comedy yes, Central I'm too? Yes, I'm doing July 9th. I'm recording my album in Portland, and that will be coming out around the same time as my special. Hopefully. Awesome! Please go online and follow Solomon at what's your favorite uh, uh, social media? Twitter. So Solomon Giorgio, I'm the only one. He's great there. on Twitter. Um, check it out. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for being uh, here. Happy to be here. Thanks. Come on, wave bye to the nice people. Hi, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> all the cameras? Yeah, just all of them. You right. you want to blow a kiss? <laughs> no, that's that's too <laughs> too personal. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I want to ask permission. <laughs> <laughs> you have to speak to my mother. <laughs>